Ephesians 2 and you have you quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. That's about the most favorite verse of mine in the entire Bible. You have you quickened. And every time when I feel very low and every time when I feel so far removed and every time when I feel I am not sensing him and I'm not connecting with him, any time that I overindulge my flesh or whatever it is or wherever I find myself, I say to myself, you have he quickened. And I sense his life immediately kicking inside of me. You have he quickened. And the word quickening is the same as being made alive. You have he quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in time past you walk according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. And the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Among whom also ye all. We all had our conversation in times past. In the last of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, and those are the exciting things when you see that, but God. You know, so we get to the point where we are indulging our flesh and the desires of our flesh and of our mind. Whatsoever we will, we, we head towards it. Whatsoever we desire, we go for it. Whatever our eyes see, we run after it. Whatsoever we feel compelled, we go for it. And whatsoever nature is determining, we just, we just move along with it. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and have raised us up together, and made us sit together, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God have before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time, <coughs> at that time, Ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity even the law of commandments contained in ordinances or to make himself of twine one new man, so make him peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit into the Father. Now therefore, Ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. 
I can't seem to stop. I'm just reading on and on and on. Now the Apostle Paul will say, For this cause I, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for you Gentiles, if ye heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given to me to you all, how that by revelation is made known unto me in the mystery as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles sh should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power unto me, who am less than the least of all the saints, in th is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God who created all things by Christ Jesus to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in the heavenly places might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. In whom we have boldness, and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Amen. I am so glad that my Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given wonderful things in the Bible I see this is the dearest that Jesus loves me I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Let's sing in the second stanza. Though I forget him and wander away, still he that loved me wherever I stray, back to his dear loving arms would I flee when I remember that Jesus loves me. I am so, so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Can we just affirm his love for us? Said, I thank you that you extended your love towards me. Scripture says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Would you affirm his love that you love me? Your eyes are upon me. You confirm your love by going to the cross for me. You confirm your love unto me by giving unto me the Holy Spirit to help me and to strengthen me and to guide me. I embrace and I accept your love for me, Lord. I embrace and I accept your love for me. 
Nothing can say otherwise to me that you love me. Nothing can say otherwise that you do love me, Lord. Nothing can say otherwise. Nothing can say otherwise. Circumstances cannot say otherwise. Sickness cannot say otherwise. People who turn their back on me cannot say otherwise. The cares of this life cannot say otherwise. Oh, family cannot say otherwise. Disappointments cannot say otherwise. Delays in life, it cannot say otherwise. For you do indeed love your own. That we are accepted in the beloved. We are accepted in the beloved. Kayamondi, Resanto Kayandesi. We are accepted in the beloved. Made Brozini. Lost cannot say otherwise. Kayanio Senike. It doesn't matter what we lose. You still love us. Kayamondi said. You love us. You love us, Lord. You love your own. And scripture says that because you love your own, you love them unto death. We accept your love, Lord. We affirm that we are children born not of the will of man, not of the will of God of the world, nor of our own will, but by the will of God. By the blood of Jesus. We have been baptized into the body of Christ. Yes, Lord.
exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Over all lives, over all circumstances. Be exalted. Let your light, O oh God, burst forth. Let your light burst forth. Your presence, O oh God. Your presence, Lord. Be embraced. Be embraced. Be embraced. Be embraced. Be embraced. Your presence. Your presence. Your presence. Kaya Lunde. Ria Kalunde. Rie Kalunde. Rie Kalunde. Rie Kalunde. Rie Kalunde. Rie Kele Muleke. Rie Kele Wanneke. Renga Konga. Hanga Kulande. Renga Koliande. Rie Kele Bi. Akalunde. Isaiah said when he saw the Lord, he straight filled the entire temple. We are temples of the Holy Spirit represented before your Father. wherever you dwell Lord there is liberty in these lives represented here let there be liberty of spirit let there be clarity let there be a breaking forth of a new dawn let there be help from on high let there be passion and commitment in the days of your power, Lord, your people will be willing. Let there be willingness. 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 Not just for us, but our brethren who are online. May you manifest, Lord, your presence. In the same anointing, in the same grace. Manifest, Lord, your power, your presence, Lord. We give you praise for you are worthy of it and all the saints shall say amen.